Hey guys, back with another video on how to repair a patient monitor. And um, today we have the Nonin 7500. If you didn't get that because of the beep, it's the Nonin 7500. We have error code E04. And as you can see, um, there's a little battery image that's popping up and the light on the finger sensor is not turning on is not turning on so um, I looked up this code and they said that it's uh, related to battery issues and uh, sure enough one way to test this is by removing the plug the monitor immediately shuts off so today to repair this uh, this battery issue, we have ordered a battery from R&D Batteries Incorporated and um, this is what I got, very somewhat in inexpensive and uh, you will need a screwdriver with a T15 screwdriver bit. Um, that's all you'll need for this repair. So let's get started you have four screws to remove on the uh, facing the back of the monitor and take our screwdriver and just remove all four This repair doesn't take too long as long as you have the right tool and the correct battery. This is our third screw, and it doesn't matter how you pull them out or lay them out, they're all the exact same size. And we're on the last screw. Alrighty, so when removing the front, be very careful because there is a cable, the battery cable that actually connects to the, to the back of the monitor and to remove that you have to slide the connector gently out so you don't damage the connector socket. So using a little bit of force, not too much to not damage the connector. There we go. We remove the whole front plate of the monitor and all we're left with is the battery itself on the back along with this little plastic plate. It has two screws using the same T15 bit. We can remove that.
so then the battery just slides off and this is the OEM battery that no longer is good I did notice one thing when I purchased from R&D batteries their batteries are a little bit smaller this is not a problem if uh, you don't mind the the jing the the jiggling in the in the in the uh, socket because it will not stay a hundred percent firm but it does work this would be the so second monitor I've actually changed this on and you just place it in there yeah that would be a little bit of free movement but uh, nothing too serious if you have your monitor just you know, in the same spot, it shouldn't be a problem. So we go ahead and tighten the back plate again with the new battery. You know, take your time, but there's no rush. These these things can be a little bit delicate, and so make sure to treat it with care. Nice and tight. Again, there will be a little bit of jiggle, but nothing too serious. And then we reconnect the or connect the new battery to the main board. Also, very gently, not to ruin the socket. It has to go in to feel the little clicks. And you make sure you align it correctly. And you can feel the jiggle, but I guarantee that this new battery will work. Also another thing to note is that you can also purchase the original battery anywhere, I'm sure. I, I just choose R&D because they're fairly inexpensive and um, you know these monitors are very expensive. Um, I feel like, like, you know, hospitals that, or, or clinics that really need to use a, a monitor that costs so much money you shouldn't have to spend so much money to get it repaired I called Nonin and their quote was about $200 $250 an hour to just get this battery replaced and you know that's granted how many hours they decide to place on the on the worksheet you know <laughs> but for a very inexpensive price you can do it yourself and so we're on with the last screw my philosophy is you know you don't you don't purchase Honda tires for a Honda car or Mazda wipers for a Mazda car. You get aftermarkets. Come out cheaper and sometimes even better than the OEMs. So now that we have our monitor all put together, 
immediately you should see that the new battery is charged you don't we don't even need to plug it in to uh, to test that this thing will work but just for purposes of showing you that it does keep a charge and stay on and we no longer get that error code quickly notice how the light does turn on the actual sensor and if we check check to see boom no more error code and we have a fully working Nonin 7500 monitor thank you guys so much for watching my video and make sure you subscribe subscribe thanks